Merry Christmas Fixer family and it's day seven of 12 days of a rustic Christmas. Let's get into today's project. Welcome to Fixin' Two. We're gonna need a floral foam, a birdhouse, this little birdhouse I got from Walmart's little craft section area. We're gonna need a candle stand of some kind. I've had this for a minute. Um, also some ribbon and I'm using some boxwood greenery and of course some uh, Christmas florals and my little red bird that of course from a little house <laughs> and we're gonna be using some wire cutters scissors and hot glue gun so and also some paints so I'll show you what those are here in just a minute but we're gonna take our floral foam and I'm gonna put a lot of hot glue on here. And this being a high temperature hot glue gun, it did kind of melt that floral foam just a little bit, but I think it helped it to stick a lot better. And pulling off this sticker, I had some little excess that wanted to stay there, so we needed to get that off. And now we're ready to um, also paint because we're gonna be using our Burnt Umber Apple Barrel Acrylic Paint. And I'm gonna use that with some water and that kind of helps to thin it out just a little bit. Kind of acts like a stain and helps to kind of um, soak into this wood a little bit. This is kind of a really rustic raw wood and so putting a little bit of uh, water in it helped it to fill that in quite a bit and we're just going to do the entire birdhouse and I may go over a few places because of the glue that was on here wanted to make sure that that was covered really good so once we got that done then we're going to take our hair dryer and dry this puppy pretty quick <laughs> so that we can go ahead and move to the next step now we're gonna be using our white apple barrel acrylic paint and just um, doing a dry brush effect. Now I've done this kind of technique and recently and I'll make sure that I link that in the eye cards above here for you so that you can see um, other things that I've done with this dry brush. But it's basically you put paint on the brush, kind of dab the majority of it off and then go in kind of doing some light brush marks all over and you can still see the the brown in there and it really makes it look like kind of like barn wood to me so now we're ready to attach it to the top of our candle stand onto the floral foam and i'm just gonna definitely use a quite a bit hot glue to make sure that it stays on there really well so we're gonna do the best to eyeball the center of it, placing it up there, and then we're gonna be ready to add our florals. Now, I'm gonna be course going all the way around the birdhouse, and I start by taking these Christmas floral picks and cutting off the evergreen to start with, because that's what I'll be filling in first is the green. Now guys, I'm gonna give you a little tip here, and it kinda, of, at first I thought I messed up, but then I realized that it's really two ways of doing this. Myself, I went ahead and put all of my greenery in, and then went in and placed my Spanish moss in there. Or you can go ahead, cover your floral foam with Spanish moss, and then put your greenery in. Now if you do it before your greenery, you're gonna to have to glue it in to make sure that it stays. When you do it after your greenery, then you can just kind of poke it down in there and I didn't have to use any uh, glue. So now I'm just taking my greenery and I'm gonna do this kind of in a symmetrical way. I had three of each types of greenery and I'm gonna go around creating these, um, I guess you can kind of say starting out a little symmetrical, it'll look a little thin to start with. But as you're filling stuff in, it really comes together nicely. And just know that what you do on one side or front and back, you wanna do it on the other side. And that way it stays pretty even and fills in nicely. So go in with the next set of greenery kind of at an angle and you'll just kind of mix it up as you go. Now I'm 
coming in with some boxwood greenery. I got this particular pix at Walmart and I really love the two-tone green that it has on here. That lighter green and the darker green and then with your evergreens. I think that this once it comes all together, guys, you'll see how beautiful this really um, makes it look with these lighter greens. And I'm just going in and those pieces that didn't have the little um, wired stick thing on there to, for me to be able to get it into the floral foam, I just stuck it on a piece and cut that off and used it that way. So don't throw away all of your stems. You never know when you might need them. So just go in after cutting them off and filling it in there. You'll see that it begins to fill in and look like a little birdhouse in a little bird's nest. And I think that this is just a, a beautiful piece. And I'm using it, of course, um, as a centerpiece. Before we continue, I wanted to remind you guys not to forget to jump on over to Instagram and follow me over there. Not only to connect with me on a more personal level, but also um, after I post day 12 of the 12 days of a rustic Christmas, I am going to be taking a little bit of a break and spending some time with my family for the holidays. And I will be back ready to, to jump into 2021 on January the 8th. And I'm so excited to be bringing you some new stuff and maybe even some new things happening here on Fixin' 2. So let's go ahead and finish up on our project for today. Now here is a Spanish moss. I got this from the Dollar Tree and I also think Walmart carries it as well. But we're just going to um, begin to pull out little small pieces and of course this is very messy. <laughs> very messy. And we're going to just pull out some small little chunks here and begin to just tuck it down in there. And like I said before, you can do this before you put any greenery on here, but you'll just have to use a little bit of hot glue to help secure it down before you put in your greenery. This way, I found that I didn't have to um, use any, that I could just find the um, spots I needed to tuck it in there to cover up that um, the floral foam on there and um, just went underneath it as well. And it stayed and stayed very nicely. and just kind of looks like a little bird's nest in there and um, I think this turned out really good. So now we're ready to bring a little more color to our little bird house here, our little centerpiece and going back to those picks that I've already been cutting off of and guys, I think I already said this but if I didn't, don't be afraid to cut your picks apart. I mean, these are some amazing, I mean, like I said, Dollar Tree has totally stepped up their game in the floral picks area, and you guys can really make some, you know, neat things using different pieces of these picks. So cut them apart, use them in all kinds of places. And so you see, I'm just kind of pulling off my berries because I'm going to use some of these berries in here to bring some color to the, um, I guess you could say to my little nest, my little birdhouse nest um, centerpiece. What I also like to do with when I'm putting things into any kind of an arrangement, I like to go ahead and place them in there to see where I want them before I glue them down. And then I can go back and kind of ease them out, put the hot glue on there and put them right back in where I had them. That just helps me out and if that's a tip for someone, I hope that helps you out as well so that you're not having to pull it out after you've put the glue in there. Now that all of our berries are put in, I think I'm gonna go and grab those poinsettias or poinsettia however you say it off of that one pick and kind of place them in there as well i think they are so pretty and they're you know kind of petite and think that this will make a great addition i've always said this to you that you guys can make this 
your own. And the neat thing about this particular centerpiece, guys, this can be made for any season, for spring, for summer, fall. You can add spring flowers. You can put, you know, for the fall time, the, the fall leaves and that kind of foliage. And, you know, any of these, I mean, this can make a beautiful centerpiece for all seasons. Now, of course, we don't want to forget our little red bird. And guys, these little red birds came from the Dollar Tree. Now, they don't necessarily look like a cardinal, but still, it represents the, the red bird that I love for this time of year. You know I've already used one in another project. I'll link that up in the iCards as well for you. And this really, to me, just makes it, tops it off. But I'll have one more little piece of something to add to it and it'll finish it off just perfectly. And that is taking the ribbon that I'm using for my decor this Christmas, the red and black buffalo check, and um, putting a little touch of that in here as well will bring it all together. And I'm just taking little six inch pieces of the ribbon that has the wire on it cutting the little dovetails on the end and then bunching it in the center and I'm going to glue it right down in there to give this, I guess you can say that this was the finishing touch to this cute little centerpiece. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. I would love to hear from you. such a beautiful centerpiece. I think that this is one of my favorites that I've done so far this Christmas season. I do have several though, <laughs> that's for sure. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And if this is the first time that you have joined my channel, I'm so glad that you're here. And I would love for you to become a part of the Fixer family by hitting that subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you're notified each time I upload new videos. Now, I am in the midst, of course, of 12 days of a rustic Christmas, and I am having a blast, and I hope that you are as well. Make sure you share this video with your friends and family so that they too can be inspired for Christmas. Again, I'm so glad you joined me, and always remember to keep looking up, because that's where it all is. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.